Hello, welcome back once again, friend. Uh, I'm extremely sorry. Actually, I forget to inform you about the complete angle in the last angle videos, types of angle videos, right? Uh, so here I will inform you what is exactly the complete angle, right? Complete angle. Okay, friend. Suppose I have a line. I have a straight line, something like this, right? So this is my straight line, and uh, in this straight line, here is a point. This is called O, suppose, and from point A, right? I'm suppose moving away right somehow like this so when I reached at this point I uh, thought that how much angle I have made uh, with reference to my initial line and this one this point right then I imagine a straight line from here like this right so at that time how much angle I have made yes this angle that I have made is known as acute angle acute angle right and if I'll move further right from here if I'm moving more from here suppose I almost move up to here then this time you know my angle will be something how somehow somehow like this okay almost straight line like this this is my angle uh, when I moved up to there right so at this time right this complete angle from my initial point suppose this is a from the point a to this point how much angle I have made yes if I'll measure with the protector this will be 90 degree and this 90 degree is known as right sometimes we also uh, symbolize this 90 degree like this a perpendicular this is also sometimes uh, say uh, we people say perpendicular so this time this angle is known as a right angle right right angle this is right angle right sometimes we also say orthogonal also many people say many many uh, words there are okay so this is 90 degrees so this exact 90 degree angle is known as right angle but if you're moving a little bit also below from here right a little bit also below from here then those all angle is known as acute angles this is zero degree line so I can say that more than zero degree but less than 90 degree this reason is the reason of acute angle right these all are acute angle okay uh, let me suppose I'm going to move further from 90 degree suppose I reached up to here now I'm here then at that time what happens okay so again straight line fine so this time how much angle I have covered I have covered from here to here this much angle I have made so this much angle is of course greater than 90 degree because this angle is 90 degree right this is 90 degree so it is greater than 90 degree uh, somehow it may be like 120 130 140 it may be something like okay so this angle is known as obtuse angle this is known as obtuse angle and suppose uh, I'm moving even more than that I'm, 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 I'm almost here almost here I raised then at them at that time what happens let me make again a straight line to connect my initial to connect my initial line okay suppose uh, this is my line okay so at this time right from here from a point again I completing these all points I return I, I come to this point I reach to this point so this much angle I have covered and this angle if you measure with your protector you will get 180 degree and in protector you will say this left side and this right side will be pretty steady exactly a straight line this will be now a, a, a straight line right and this is 180 so since this is a straight line we have named this also like a straight line angle this time we have covered this angle this whole angle right this whole angle is called straight line angle straight line angle we covered and a straight line angle now let's suppose I'm moving even more than the straight line right suppose I, I reached up to here suppose I reached up to here so at that time let me see how much angle I have made right suppose I'm, up, I'm, I'm almost here okay so this time if you see I moved from here and I completed acute angle I reached to the right angle and then I, uh, I crossed even the obtuse angle I reached to the straight line angle and even I crossed the straight line and I'm you know more than the straight line means more than 180 degree I have covered it may be like 210 to uh, two, uh, 260 or something like this right so this whole angle right this complete angle up to here I'm talking about up to here if you measure 
with the protector right it will be of course more than 180 right 180 degree plus it will be not less it will be more than 180 degree it may be like something 210 260 whatever it is right so this 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 angle which is greater than 180 right known as reflex angle reflex angle we see this as a reflex angle and those angle which are less than the straight line angle right less than the straight line means less than the 180 but greater than the 90 degree you got it what I mean to say right greater than 90 degree right but less than 180 degree are known as obtuse angle and a pretty straight angle right that has been formed by the two lines one line is here and another line is here that is straight line and even if you go more than 180 degree that is called reflex angle right reflex angle so uh, what happen if I'll move more and more and more and if I'll come even up to here at the same point if I'll return back to the same point if I'll come here again means I mean to say I started all right I started from here this a point right and I completed all angles acute right angle obtuse angle straight line angle reflex angle and again I come to my original position right my initial point from where I had started my movement right then at that time I'm almost covering you know a uh, uh, straight line uh, you know a, a circle like right? a circular path I have covered right it looks like a circle like my cars will right your cars will you can see like this your, or you can say motorbike wheel or uh, you can say your cycles wheel right something like that I have covered and it's almost a circle I started from the point this point A right and I completed one complete rotation and I turned and turned back to the same point that's point A right so how many angle I have covered so let me check out here see here from here to here once we move from 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 you can see this line right when we cover this much path right this much path I'm talking with why I'm seeing this right this much path when I covered when I came to here a and when I started my motion from here a and I reached to here you know I formed a straight line angle and the straight line angle is how much yes that we had learned that is 180 degree right we covered here up to here up to this point you can see the point B up to point B we have covered 180 degree right and again from B point right if you move further up to here right further up to here this whole part I'm talking about from the point B to the from the point A if you if you move right from B point to the A again you cover another 180 degree, right exactly it's a semicircle and another semicircle you're cover, covering right actually we haven't learned the circle but I hope you have a brief idea about a little bit idea about the circle so first 180 right this part is 180 and another this part is 180 so all together how much we are going to make 180 another 180 so 180 plus 180 that's 360 degree means it is something like this okay suppose this is my straight line then I'm going to cover like this right I started motion from here and again come back to the same original position and I covered 360 degree so this is called the complete angle complete angle right so the angle which is equal with the 360 degree is known as the complete angle uh, in, a, in a circle also you might have seen a lot of circles right suppose this is my circle in this circle if you see right uh, this is the center and this is diameter if you connect the center and the diameter right this the center and diameter you're connecting then at the time if you see when if you move this this uh, diameter completely like this completely like this you can you will cover 360 degree suppose this was a clock very good example here is a uh, cl here was a clock then if you if you see the minute hands in one minute it will complete this whole one circle right and this gonna form 360 degree this is called complete angle I actually have a very good example to show you here see here here is a hand juicer right here is a lady uh, trying to make some juice maybe orange or something right uh, I don't know and here is this 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 uh, reason is called axle right or the axis of rotation through which she will rotate this part 
uh, what is she holding right and when she will rotate it will be something like this again she will complete like this right so here also around this axle she is going to cover 360 degree one complete rotation she is going to make so when you are at a point if you make a complete one rotation you are going to make 360 degree right this is called complete angle I hope you understand all the angles from acute angle to the right angle and then obtuse angle then uh, then a straight line angle then uh, then reflex angle and then complete angle right now after that we are going to learn the revolutions right and uh, we'll be learning the rotations clockwise rotations anti-clockwise rotation everything we'll be learning now almost you're ready for that okay so we'll meet in the next video bye bye